my life has been dedicated to finding justice for people. Sometimes we can get there, sometimes we can't. And when people look to you, it breaks your heart sometimes. That was an emotional Mary County, Marion County Sheriff earlier today announcing new details in the deaths of three Florida teens and the arrest of two boys just 12 and 17 years old arrested for what the sheriff says was a gang related triple homicide and detectives are still searching for a third suspect, a 16 year old. The victims were two 16 year old girls and a 17 year old boy. Now we normally don't name or show pictures of minors involved in a crime, but because of the serious nature of the charges, we are identifying them tonight. On your side, Andrew Badillo is joining us in the newsroom. And Andrew, what additional new information did the sheriff release today? Well, Marion County Sheriff Billy Wood said the victims and suspects were all in the same car at the time of the shooting. Wood says the suspects turned on the victims. He said all six were part of a gang that took part in robberies and burglaries. They took a life without thought. They deserve the full extent of the law. Christopher Atkins is 12. Robert Robinson is 17. Robinson was already in juvenile detention for a fight in school. Atkins was arrested at his home. Both faced first degree murder charges. Yeah, they cried. They're juveniles. I would have, yeah. The 12 year old, yeah. But the mamas did too. The mamas, best way to describe it, they didn't know what to think. I know it was shame, shame, because their boys committed a murder. Police found the three victims throughout the Oklawaha area within days of each other. They found the first injured on the side of the road on March 30th. Layla Silvernail died at the hospital. She was 16. A boy was found dead nearby on March 31st, and a girl was found dead in the trunk of a car partially submerged in a nearby pond the next day. Police say the car belonged to Silvernail and is where the killings happened. Police are looking for a third suspect, Taj Bruton. He's 16. Now I'm talking to the viewers. You, some of you know him, you know where he is, and you need to turn him in. Now I will get him. I will find him. And justice will be completed. Sheriff Wood says the state attorney's office is deciding whether to charge the suspects as adults. He did not offer any more information on Taj Bruton, the suspect they are looking for. Marion County Sheriff's Office is offering a $10,000 reward for any information leading to his arrest. In the newsroom, Andrew Badillo, First Coast News, on your side. It's an awful tragedy. Thank you, Andrew.